so Dave McPherson returns to the Rangers defence. Ali McCoy's place on the start to partner Mark Cately up front, with Gordon Jury moved to the flank to the exclusion of Alexei Mikhailichenko. In goal, it's comeback match number five for Andy Gorham after his nine-month injury absence. His four matches to date have seen him lose just two goals, and he's quickly regaining the form, which may see his inclusion in Scotland's squad for the match against Holland at Hamden in 11 days' time. The Hearts manager, Sandy Clark, names exactly the same team as the one which beat Aberdeen 1-0 a week ago, with match winner Scott Leach remaining in central midfield beside John Miller. Gary Mackay's injured ankle keeps him out of contention. During last season, Jim Weir spent some time training at Ibrox and made a favourable impression. A transfer from Hamilton Ackies didn't materialise, though, until Hart stepped in last summer with £250,000 to give him a top-flight opportunity which he seized in recent weeks after an initial period of adjustment to Premier Division football. The referee this afternoon is the very experienced Bill Crombie from Edinburgh. start the match looking to avenge last season's semi-final defeat against Rangers by two goals to one and they come into this match with lots of confidence after three straight away wins against Hibs, Dundee and Aberdeen up facing Rangers who are in a marvellous spell of form six straight wins since uh, two draws in a row so they are very much the form team in the country just now and they have Sorted out the defensive formation now with Dave McPherson moving into the right back position, vacated by Gary Stevens. Goff and Brown in central defence. David Roberts at left back. The header there by Goff. That's John Miller. Foster going through very quickly, forcing McPherson to hurry. That's very awkward indeed. The header attempted by John Brown. Gorham had his body behind that, but some confusion created in the Rangers' defence there. That'll give encouragement to Hearts. But they have to face a free kick here, the Rangers, which Ferguson wants to take quickly. Here's McPherson did a good job there in defence a moment ago with the attack. That was over hit. Maker trying to turn it back from the byline. So there was Foster putting pressure on. McPherson did well. Gorham and Brown showing some uncertainty there. Brown tried the headed pass back. This is Weir. Johnston and Hurry with the throw. Trying to release Cahoon, who hasn't yet forced his way into the match. Potential match winner for Tackle by Brown. That's Hatley. Good layoff by Judy into the path of McPherson. McCoy goes wide, followed by his shadow, Neil Berry. Playing that to the left foot of Henry Smith, which is his natural favourite. McCoy again looking for Judy. A chance is on. And the linesman's flag stayed down to the annoyance there of Henry Smith and the Hearts defenders. It was a genuine chance there. And there's trouble here for Tosh McKinley. He called over the referee as McCoy sent that forward. Jury there going in between the two defenders, Levine and McLaren, to shoot the ball wide. And Tosh McKinley now being warned by the referee for an outburst towards the linesman who did not flag for offside, although on that replay it looked as though the linesman was perfectly correct. Jury. Cahoon now working over on the left for Hearts. Played long by McKinley, but Foster was caught offside. Our Rangers, of course, are known for their patience in situations like this. There's just some feeling of concern on the bench at the moment, although they've been encouraged by this move. McCoy's linking with Stephen. A very calm play there by Craig Levine. Clearance though goes straight to Ferguson, now it's Robertson. Hatley's there, the header on, there was handball used there, a hand was used, and the referee will take action.
action here, looking at the linesman to check. Ali McCoy guilty of handball. The ball was just out of reach. He's going to be booked for that. It looked as though it was an excellent chance because Mark Haithley had found space inside the area for Robertson's cross. He aimed that for Haithley. He used an arm there to try to get the better of McLaren. So a yellow card for McCoy for the handball. Off by Johnston. Ferguson wins it back for Rangers and strong defensive play. McCoy gets it back from McKinley. Cool. Good running forward by Stephen. And a great ball in on the run. Turned away gratefully there by Levine. But such a difficult skill performed there by Trevor Stephen. The pass is played with pace into that position. Very few players could do this on the run. Turning it back from the byline.